When we think about planets that could harbor life in our solar system, most people immediately think of Mars. But what if we've been overlooking a more intriguing candidate? One that's scorching hot, shrouded in mystery, and once considered Earth's twin, Venus. Now, imagine this, a planet where surface temperatures soar to a staggering 905 degrees Fahrenheit. Hotter than Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. A crushing atmospheric pressure 92 times greater than Earth's, equivalent to being submerged nearly a kilometer beneath the ocean. A sky so thick with clouds that sunlight barely penetrates. And instead of water, the planet is drenched in sulfuric acid rain falling from the heavens. A place like this seems utterly inhospitable to life. Or at least, that's what we used to think. But then something strange happened. Recent observations have revealed a chemical signature in Venus's clouds that science has yet to explain. This absorption pattern matches something found right here on Earth, and it's not caused by rocks or atmospheric gases, but by life. Bacteria. Meet one of Earth's most extraordinary microorganisms, Acidithiobacillus ferrooxidans. This tiny survivor thrives in highly acidic environments, absorbs UV radiation, and even extracts energy from sulfur and metals. But what makes it truly remarkable is how eerily similar its habitat is to the conditions found in Venus's atmosphere. What does this mean? Could this microbe help us unlock the secrets of alien life? And if life exists on Venus, what would it look like? Join us as we explore this mind-blowing possibility. Welcome to Astro. I'm James Brown, and this is where we explore the biggest mysteries of the cosmos. If you're fascinated by space, astronomy, and the search for extraterrestrial life, don't forget to hit like and subscribe so you never miss an exciting discovery. Imagine standing on the surface of Venus. No blue sky, no fresh air to breathe. Instead, above you, an endless expanse of thick clouds stretches across the sky, blocking out the sun's light and casting an eerie, golden-orange glow over the barren landscape. But perhaps the most terrifying thing about Venus isn't what you see, it's what you feel. The moment you step onto its surface, your protective suit begins to overheat under the staggering 905 degrees Fahrenheit temperatures. To put that into perspective, that's hot enough to melt lead, tin, and zinc within seconds. Even a spacecraft made of metal wouldn't last long in these extreme conditions. But heat is just one part of Venus's nightmare. If Earth's atmospheric pressure is what you're used to, Think again. On Venus, the pressure is a staggering 92 times greater than Earth's, equivalent to being nearly 3,000 feet underwater. That's enough force to crush a nuclear submarine. This is why most probes sent to Venus's surface survive only for a few minutes before being completely destroyed. And there's more. If you think an advanced spacesuit would keep you safe here, think again. Venus doesn't just have extreme heat and pressure, it has an atmosphere filled with sulfuric acid, one of the most corrosive substances known to science. This acid can dissolve most metals and organic materials, making Venus's skies as deadly as its ground. Add in an atmosphere rich in carbon dioxide, creating the strongest greenhouse effect in the solar system, and you get a planet even hotter than Mercury, the closest planet to the sun. So why would anyone even consider the possibility of life on such a nightmarish world? Surely Venus has eliminated every possible chance for life to exist, right? Here's where things get interesting. While the surface of Venus is a literal hellscape, things start to change 31 miles above the ground. At this altitude, the temperature is no longer deadly. It's around 140 degrees Fahrenheit, still hot, but survivable. And the atmospheric pressure? 
It's almost the same as what we experience at sea level on Earth. This layer of Venus's atmosphere is the only place scientists consider potentially habitable. But there's still a major problem. The clouds at this altitude are made of highly concentrated sulfuric acid. Any life that exists here would need an extraordinary defense mechanism against one of the most corrosive environments ever known. And that raises a huge question. Is there any organism on Earth that could survive something like this? The answer might lie right here on our own planet. A unique microorganism has evolved to survive in conditions eerily similar to those on Venus. A bacterium that eats metal, thrives in acid, and absorbs ultraviolet radiation in a way strikingly similar to the unexplained UV absorption seen in Venus's clouds. Could this microbe be the key to understanding alien life? Meet Acidithio bacillus feroxidans, a bacterium that could help us unlock the mysteries of Venusian life. On Earth, there are places so extreme that no ordinary life could possibly survive. Yet, against all odds, some organisms have adapted to these seemingly uninhabitable conditions. One of the most fascinating among them is a bacterium called Acidithiobacillus ferrooxidans. This microorganism has an astonishing ability. It thrives in highly acidic environments, enduring pH levels as low as 1.3 to 2, comparable to the acid in the human stomach. But what truly makes it remarkable is the way it survives. Unlike humans and animals, which rely on oxygen and organic matter for survival, FR4oxidans is a chemical autotrophic, an organism that derives energy from chemical reactions with rocks and minerals. It doesn't need sunlight like plants do. Instead, it extracts energy from iron and sulfur compounds, allowing it to thrive in environments where most life forms would perish. But what truly caught the attention of scientists isn't just its resilience to acid, it's how it interacts with ultraviolet light. In Venus' atmosphere, there's a mysterious UV absorption signature that scientists have yet to explain. And, incredibly, the way a ferrooxidans absorbs UV light on Earth almost perfectly matches the unknown UV absorption band observed on Venus. This raises an intriguing question. If a microbe on Earth can absorb light in a similar way to what we see in Venus's clouds, could there be similar organisms floating within Venus's acidic skies, using the same mechanism to survive? To test this hypothesis, scientists have conducted a series of experiments to determine whether A. ferrooxidans could withstand conditions similar to those found in Venus's atmosphere. The result? Surprisingly, A. ferrooxidans not only survived, but continued to function in extremely acidic environments conditions similar to those predicted for Venus's upper atmosphere. While this doesn't confirm life on Venus, it strongly suggests that even in the most hostile conditions, life has a way of adapting. So if life does exist in Venus's clouds, what would it look like? Are we searching for a modified version of A. ferrooxidans floating in the planet's atmosphere? In the next segment, we'll dive into the most compelling theories about extraterrestrial life on Venus and the scientific evidence suggesting that we may not be alone in the solar system. For most of history, Venus has been dismissed as a dead world, a toxic, scorching wasteland incapable of supporting life. But what if we've overlooked something crucial? Recent scientific discoveries have sparked a major question. Could life actually exist in Venus's atmosphere? On Earth, phosphine is an incredibly rare gas in nature. It is typically produced by biological processes found in environments with little to no oxygen, such as swamps, rice fields, or even inside animal intestines. But on Venus, something is producing it. 
There are no known volcanic eruptions strong enough to release such quantities of phosphine and no geological process that could account for these levels in the atmosphere. This has led some scientists to propose a radical hypothesis. Could Venus's clouds be home to a form of microbial life capable of producing phosphine, similar to how certain bacteria do on Earth? And if so, could this be the first real evidence of extraterrestrial life right here in our own solar system? But there's a major obstacle. If life does exist in Venus's atmosphere, it would need to survive something extreme, incredibly high concentrations of sulfuric acid. Even the most acid-resistant organisms on Earth have never been found in conditions this extreme. So, if life does exist on Venus, what would it look like? Hypotheses about life in Venus's atmosphere. 1. Microbes suspended in sulfuric acid droplets. They could remain suspended in Venus clouds similar to how Earth bacteria survive in water droplets. Their outer membranes might be shielded by a protective layer preventing acid damage. Two a life form that doesn't rely on water. On Earth, all known life depends on water, but what if life on Venus uses sulfuric acid as a solvent instead? This could mean an entirely new kind of biology, one unlike anything we've ever encountered. If this is true, it would completely change the way we search for life beyond Earth. For decades, scientists have focused on finding planets with liquid water. But what if life doesn't need water? What if it can exist in acid, methane, or even in the vacuum of space? This is why Venus could hold the key to a new era of astronomy. If we can confirm that life exists in its clouds, it would mean that extraterrestrial life isn't just possible, it could be common throughout the universe. But how do we find out for sure? What missions are planned to explore Venus? and could we get definitive proof within our lifetime? Let's take a look at the future of Venus exploration next. We've explored the mysteries of Venus, from its extreme conditions to unexplained chemical signatures and even the possibility of life hidden in its clouds. But now the biggest question remains, can we find the answer? And if so, when? For decades, we've sent spacecraft to Venus, collecting data on its surface and atmosphere. However, most of these missions focused on geology, not the search for life. But that is about to change. Today, NASA, ESA, and other space agencies are preparing for a new generation of missions, ones designed specifically to explore Venus's atmosphere, where the clues to life may be hidden. Upcoming key missions Veritas, NASA, expected 2031 An orbital spacecraft that will create high-resolution radar maps of Venus, helping us understand its geological history. Main objectives Determine if Venus ever had water and conditions suitable for life in the past. Da Vinci Plus, NASA, expected 2029 a deep atmosphere probe that will descend through Venus's clouds collecting real-time chemical data. Most crucially, it will precisely measure the phosphine levels, one of the strongest potential biosignatures. Envision, ESA expected 2031. A European Space Agency mission that will investigate how Venus's surface interacts with its atmosphere. These missions aim to answer one of the biggest questions in astrobiology. Is life currently existing in Venus's clouds? And if not, did it ever exist in the planet's past? The next big step, bringing Venusian samples to Earth? Some scientists propose that in the future, we could launch sample return missions, retrieving material from Venus's clouds for direct analysis. This could definitively confirm whether microbial life exists in Venus's atmosphere. But the implications of Venus research go far beyond just one planet. 
what we learn from Venus could completely redefine how we search for life across the cosmos. Expanding beyond Venus. If life can survive in Venus acidic clouds, then it might also thrive in your yupa, where an underground ocean lies beneath a thick ice crust. Enceladus, with geysers spewing organic rich water into space. Titan, where rivers and lakes of liquid methane cover its surface. If we find life on Venus, it would mean that life isn't a rare cosmic accident. It could be common throughout the universe. So what's next? When will we finally have an answer? And could humanity discover extraterrestrial life within this century? Stay with us as we follow the latest discoveries on this incredible journey. What do you think? Could Venus actually harbor life? Or are we still far from the answer? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, don't forget to like and subscribe so you never miss an update on space exploration.